Hi, my name is Dr. Michelle Casorla and I teach at Atlanta Metropolitan State College. I'm going to teach you a little bit about how to use Desire to Learn. Desire to Learn is a learning management system that's used all over the state of Georgia. In order to access Desire to Learn at Atlanta Metropolitan State College, you want to click on the Desire to Learn tab at the top of the home page for Atlanta Metropolitan State College. You'll find that tab right at the top of the page. I'm clicking on it now and it will bring you to the Desire to Learn website. Once you're on the De Desire to Learn website, all you have to do is enter your username and your password into the login information. Now if you do not yet have a username and password, you can use information from your campus email. Once you're inside Desire to Learn, um, you will be uh, immediately sent to your home page. Now my home page is a little bit different than uh, a student home page um, because I am a faculty member, but you will see a couple of things that should look familiar. For example, um, first of all we have my settings. Um, here's a picture of me. If you do not have a picture in yours, it's because you need to set up your profile. Um, and you can also set your account settings, your notification, you can change your password here, you can view the progress in your classes, and you also have access to some minimal storage um, in what's called the locker. Um, you'll also see that there's some uh, there's a course pane here where your courses will be. Um, I have both my fall 2013 and my spring 2014 so far coming up. I have a calendar in this area and I can choose also uh, how to view that calendar. Um, I have updates and I have news. Now the view may change slightly as we make some small tweaks in the program as we work with it. Also across the top, this is new, you're going to see My Home, which is here, and to select a course. So this, this has all the courses that you might have been enrolled in at any USG, University System of Georgia classes. Um, here you'll find any um, email or messaging. Um, you will find some uh, notes. Uh, discussion boards, if you're following a discussion board, and of course um, another way to get to your uh, notifications. Here you'll also see how things are organized and you'll be able to play with them a little bit um, to personalize what you want. So the first thing you want to do when you get in here is you want to find your class. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my World Lit class, which is right here, and I'm going to click on it. In my World Lit class, you can see that I have um, my uh, content browser here in the middle. Um, there are some news items which may or may not be here, and right now there's none because I'm just creating this class and I haven't created any news items at this time. And there's some updates, um, and if I want to switch roles, which I don't think you will see in their student, but I'm going to change my role to student so that you'll see what this looks like as a student. So um, here you'll have the syllabus, the course material, and then some areas that it says for instructors. The most important part of D2L for a student is probably what's found in this red box right here. Um, these are the buttons that you will use to access things in your course that you need to interact with the professor and with other students. If your professor has allowed it, you can message other students in your class. So it's helpful to go to the class list and then from that class list you can find other students who you can interact with. If you want to know what your grades are or at least the grades that the professor has allowed you to see so far, you click on grades. Your quizzes are located under the quizzes button and Dropbox should have a list of all of the places, all of the um, assignments that your teacher has asked you to turn in via Desire to Learn.
If you want to participate in a discussion or if your instructor has uh, required that you participate in a discussion, which is more often the case, um, you can access them from the discussion button. You'll find content from the course under content. The course home will take you home whenever you are uh, going through the course in another place. Chat will allow you to chat with other people who are online currently, including your professor. So I have a lot of students um, clicking in to chat with me. And oftentimes also your professor will provide a checklist of things that you need to get done and you can keep track in your own desire to learn um, site of things that you need to get done. And of course, here is a recording of your attendance. These are all very um, important for participating, especially in an online course. Well, that's just about it. I hope this was helpful and that you will enjoy being on D2L this semester. If you have any questions, you can click on the button right there in front of you and you will be taken to the online learning page at Atlanta Metropolitan State College. Thank you very much. So long.